Sorry, guys, I'm due, overdue, but decided to do this. I'm reading all three of these Ted Arnold books in celebration of the two year anniversary of parts and about four days. So I just forgot. We will have the two year anniversary of parts three. And my uh, library teacher still hasn't got parts two in yet. But we are also going to read a new book, a, P a Pet for Fly Guy. But first up, let's read the very first thing that started it all, parts. Well, let's read this, since I didn't read it before. Picture this. You think you're an average, ordinary kid, but then you notice your belly button is shedding, big fuzz balls of lint, and skin is peeling off. I thought it said peeing from your toes. Peeling off your t from your toes. Your teeth have started falling out. Is this average, ordinary kid stuff? Or are you coming on me? Yeah, no jumping on the bed. I have the same book maybe over there, or else my dad threw it away. Parts. Parts. Ted Arnold. And there's the 1997 thing, but I won't do any MTM. I just don't want to know what's going on, or why it has to be. But every day, it's something worse. What's happening to me? I think it was three days ago I first became aware that my comb were caught a couple pieces of hair. And by the way, I really don't do a video like this angle anymore, the rectangle, but this is probably the last video I'll ever do it. I, I stared at them, amazed, and more than just a... a Upheld, I think that's pronounced. Listen, I know I'm only 10 years old, but I have no clue what how that word is pronounced. To think that I was only five, I'm five years older than this kid, and starting to go bald because I did turn 10 like about almost two months ago. Then later on, I don't recall exactly when it was, I lifted my shirt and there was. A little piece of fuzz. Oh, wait, hold on. Flip around my circle. Oh, wait, yeah. Flip around my. Always have to do this. But sorry, I won't do it again. I stared at it, amazed, and wondered what is this about, all about. Then I understood it was my stuffing coming out. There's one plushie that has stuffing coming out of it. This one. Touche. Must have drank the Red Rage. If you don't know that joke from one of my BFCKCC spinoffs, Woody's like, he must have drank, Leafy drank the Red Rage. And Leafy, Woody was like, touche. Touche. Next day, when I was playing out, outside, playing with the water hose, I saw little bits of skin were peeling, peeling off, peeling off my toes. There's a barn right there that I didn't even notice. Yeah. And also, you probably didn't notice this, but look, Ukraine, and that Ukraine and Russia war is still going on. After almost two years, the war is still going on. If you don't know, that right now there's a war in Israel on Hamas. I don't know how that other country is. Penis or Bahamas, I don't really know. But it's not Bahamas. I, I stared at them, amazed. And then I gave a little groan to think that pretty soon I might be peeled down to the bone. Yeah. There's about 206 bones in your body, but I think for a baby, it's like 350. But there's actually some, something surprising about nine on number more. So all the numbers actually have 206. Now, nine 
has a special rare condition where, like, you know those two little circ like, your kneecaps, like, there's, like, these two little circles in your, as your bone for them? Nine doesn't have them. Since there was, like, a condition where there was, like, this kind of, like, virus, almost like COVID, there was, like, this conjection in those two little pieces of the bone, and nine actually has 204. Ten has the same condition, so but it's like a one in a gazillion chance of happening. I know one person with the same thing. Alright. Well, let's get back to reading parts. Then yesterday before my bath, and the person in is not one of my plushies. Then yesterday before my bath, as I took all my clothes, a chunk of something gray and wet fell right on my nose. Sorry, I always have to. I stared at it, amazed, and thought I shouldn't be feeling pain. Well, weren't you if you lost a piece of your brain? Yeah, right there. That's what's happening to my brain right now. But I at least know what 12 times 12 is. It's 144. You might think it's 148, but it's 144. 12 times 12 is 144. Yeah, there's him reading Dr. Seuss. I actually have my favorite Dr. Seuss book, but I'm only going to show it to you. I'm not going to read this today. It's Green Eggs and Ham. And Jeffy actually read this book and was like, so if you haven't saw this SNL video called Jeffy's Bedtime, I'll put it on the screen on the at the end. Jeffy's like, this guy's a liar. And like, see, he, he didn't like it, but then he tried it, and he liked it, but he hasn't even touched his hand yet. Like, you, I'll put the video at the end of this video. Let's continue reading. So now today, I'm going to hear and join Dr. Seuss, and suddenly I realize a tooth is coming loose. I had a lot of teeth coming loose, like, a few months back. I wiggled amazed, d d dismayed, I guess that's how it's pronounced. Too horrified to speak. Without my teeth, how can I eat? I already feel weak. Now I'm really worried. I'm as scared as I can be. Because finally what's happening is very clear to see. The glue that holds our parts together isn't holding me. If you want to see it like a forward angle, this is what it looks like. Looks pretty cool. I wonder what's going on up in his hair. Boom, I'm dumping some in the pool. Pool. Boy. Hey, boss, I think we can jump to another head. Bull, bull. Yeah, there's probably lice on him. Alright. And now I think to myself, what's next in line to go? Might be my ears, might be my eyeballs. How's a kid to know? One day, I might be playing ball, bruh, and have my arm fall off. Bruh. Bruh. I do that every single time. Or maybe I could lose my head if I suddenly cough. Bruh. Quite soon I'll be in pieces. A pile without a shape. Thank goodness dad keeps lots and lots of masking tape. What? You forgot to tell me teeth fall out. And when they do some brand new teeth will begin to soon begin to sprout. Which is true, since I lost a few of my teeth, and I, probably some of my adult teeth are starting to grow in. My hair, my skin, and everything, there's nothing I should fear. So, I'll, I'll, if, so all of me is normal? Woo! That's really good to hear. Then tell me, what's this yellow stuff I got on my ear? Now, I'm not going to scream this time. And, yes, I was telling the truth. Now, go, come on, bro. I never heard that. I have that one. Green Wilma. I've never heard of that one. I think I do have another Ted Arnold book. Let's move on to parts three. So in about four days, this book, it will be the four year two year anniversary since I read this book. And my channel is not four years old. We'll have to wait till, I believe, I believe 2025 is when my channel is going to turn four years old. So next year my channel is only going to be parts three. Even more parts. 
Parts 3. Even more parts. Idioms from head to toe. Quit messing with my head. Yeah. I don't think I read that. To Walter, for the part you played, I don't know it. Now, this book released in 2004. So, the Pet for Flyer book, which is what we'll read next, released in 2014. Sometimes I wish my stupid ears weren't always open wide. They hear such strange and crazy talk. I'm scared to go outside. I jotted down a list of all the scary things I've heard. Believe me, all these are real. I wrote them word for word. To leave my bed... Was unprepared. I had to be a fool. Excuse me now. There's work to do before I go to school. I lost my head. And then there's something where it shows parts two, which I still haven't read after t after the almost three years after almost three years on my channel. And we can I didn't actually notice, but his head is right back there. I don't think I noticed that in the first time I read the book or the second. So I got the. This book, like, multiple times. Prob but not before I began YouTube. But I did get the book, like, a lot of times when my channel was just starting out two years ago. It makes my head spin. I laugh my head off. My head is in the clouds. I keep changing my mind. I change my mind for a lot of things. Yeah. It's no flip or rama, yeah. I keep an open mind. My mind is wandering. I lost my marbles. I want all eyes on me. Yeah, that's that's just nasty. And there's the same kid. Oh! I cried my eyes out. Uh, <laughs> I have eyes in the back of my head. My eyes are glued to the television. See with my eyes every single day when I get home from school. I just sit on that couch like a cow, like a potato and just watch TV all day. My ears are burning and uh, there's two girls in the background that I have no clue doing, but I think they love him. I think they want some of his fiery peen. Alright, sorry. So, I'm so sorry. I'll give you an earful. Hey! I'm all ears. Lend me your ears. My nose is running. Like my nose. My nose is buried in a book. Like this one. Hold on, I'll show you an example. My nose is buried in this book. But let's stop. You probably didn't see that, but I was at like this angle. Keep your keep your nose out of other people's business. Just I just just follow your nose. Oh no, not the Toucan Sam crap again. I hate that commercial. I'm tongue tied. I just got tongue lost. Whoops, a slip of the tongue. I told 10 tough tongue twisters. Jeez, when I usually read that, I get. It's almost like a tongue. Don't give me any of your lip, and there's the cat being discussed. By the way, my dad hates cats, so. If if you hate cats, then you, we should be. If you any of you guys like cats, then you probably want to begin a cat revolution right now against my dad. But just please don't begin any cat revolution. Loose lips sink ships. I zipped my lips. My lips are sealed. I have a frog in my throat. I have butterflies in my stomach. Cat guy, in your tongue. No, I got ants in my pants. And bro, I am sorry for the joke that I did to you two years ago. You gotta watch the first video that I did of parts three. You just gotta watch that. I sang my heart out. He stole my heart. Have a heart? I have heart of steel. I'm hard hearted. My stomach is growling. My fists are flying. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? My teeth are chattering. My tongue is wagging. That's strange. That's strange. Doctor Strange, you need to fix this. Please lend me a hand. I'm short-handed. You have a green thumb. No, two green thumbs. I love finger food. It costs an arm and leg. 
I had to foot the bill. I had to pay through the nose. Every single time. Try what I do. Put your money where your mouth is. I put my foot in my mouth. That'd be my face when, when a Skibbity Toilet episode gets delayed. And that is my face seeing that the that the stupid G-Man in episode 65 was a freaking fake. But don't worry, guys. I'll still react to Skibbity Toilet 64 to 69. Which is the beginning of season 23. Oof! I start off the wrong foot. Always put your best foot forward. I'm feeling footless. I'd better toe the line. And see, guys, this dent right here. See that? That's the dent I made from doing this fliparama two years ago. Memories. But when I go to middle school next year, I won't be in the same school I am in right now. So, this is probably the last time I'll ever see that dent. Here's a tow truck. That's not idiom. That's a pun. Here's the fliparama that I'm probably going to be doing one last time before I go to middle school next year. And there probably won't be any Fly Guy books in my mi in my middle school library. Fly Guy is like an elementary school thing. I've been reading it ever since I was 7 years old. It, and right now I'm 10. So I've been reading it for almost basically 3 years. But I've been, but my dad read it to me when I was like three years old, which was Shoe Fly Guy. I do have Shoe Fly Guy somewhere. Let's continue. It made my skin crawl. It made my jaw. Wait, did I? Oh wait, no, I haven't read the last one. Oh wait, I, I did. It made my jaw drop. It made my hair stand on end. It made my t stomach turn. I got all bent out of shape. I couldn't keep a straight face. I got my nose out of joint. You twisted my arm. I, f I went to pieces. There's the cat jumping for its life. Pull yourself together. I came unglued. You've got guts. And it's hard. There's so many crazy things I have to keep in mind. I sure don't want to accidentally leave my parts behind. Mom says... Dear, it's time for school. Let's go, or else you'll be late. And Dad says, Just remember, son, keep your head on straight. Yeah, so there's the one I have. I still don't know what that is. And there's more parts. So I have my parts, but I don't know about... Yeah. More parts I haven't read. So, yeah. Well, I probably won't be reading this book next year in middle school. So you probably won't expect a three-year anniversary, so that's why I'm reading all three of these books, just in case. Now, let's read our last one. A Pet for Fly Guy. A boy had a pet fly. Hey, hold on. Did I read the thing for this book? So the kid's name is Chip, so it's not Buzz before he found Fly Guy. Chip has made a list of the, all the strange, crazy things he's heard people say. I lost my head. My nose is running. I sang my heart out. It's scary stuff, but he has a plan for making sure he doesn't actually leave his parts behind. You won't be able to keep a straight face as you enjoy this book of body part idioms boldly illustrated as one of clever, wacky Ted Arnold books could do it. it. It's one part eye popping, one part toe curling, and all parts funny bone. Yeah. Now let's go on to Fly Guy. A boy had a pet fly. He named him Fly Guy. Fly Guy was the smartest pet in the world. He could say the boy's name. Buzz. And, and yeah, let's just talk. A pet for Fly Guy. So I have a pet out there that just ruined one of my toys. Sorry, sorry. That that was just a joke. I. One day, Buzz and Fly Guy were going on a picnic. I just skipped this page since it was just the same thing that this thing said. Buzz and Fly Guy played chase <laughs> all the way to the park. 
They ate lunch. They played together. They looked at clouds. They watched our people play with pets. So I don't have a fish. I definitely do not have a bear. Why? What? Why? 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 Just why? And there's I. I think that's Carlos. Even though this book released in before Friendly Frenzy, which I just finished in my live stream from like two weeks ago. Still, I think that might be him. But that's just before Buzz even knew him. Why a porcupine as a pet? Wow, said Buzz. Everyone has a pet. No beds. Oops. Oops. Said Buzz. You don't have a pet. And yeah, this book released before I was even a year old, probably. No beds. Well, we will find a pet for you, said Buzz. Yes, but remember, you have to take care of it. Yes, and play with it. Yes, and feed it. Yes! <laughs> okay, said Buzz. Let's go to the pet store. At the pet shop, Buzz came out with the puppy. It licked Fly Guy. <laughs> Buzz came out with the kitten. It swatted Fly Guy. <laughs> Buzz came out with the frog. Chase Fly Guy. Sadly, Matt Kermit, the frog puppet, to, I destroyed outside. I, I mean, it accidentally blew away in the wind. This isn't working, said Buzz. Only you can pick the best pet for you. Yes. Back at the park. Fly guy found a worm. It was too slimy. Fly guy found a spider. It was too tangly. Fly guy found a cricket. It was too jumpy. Right. Okay. Bus said, Let's think about this whole pet thing. Yes. You're not a pet who likes to play, said Bus. Just like you. Yes. You need a pet who can do tricks, said Buzz. Just like you. Yes. You need a pet who is a good friend, said Buzz. Just like you. Yes. And, said Buzz, you need a pet to call me. Yes, Buzz. Buzz is beds. Me? Said Buzz. You want me to be your pet? Please. I thought of that, said Buzz. Okay, sure. I mean, yes. There's just one thing being a pet, said Buzz. You don't have to feed me. <laughs> Buzz said, Do you want to know who the world's best pet in this whole world? Buzz, no fly guy. Buzz, no fly guy. Buzz. Buzz. The end. They just said some things about Ted Arnold that you can read. I have high fly guy, but I don't have I spy fly guy. Yep. Well, guys, that's it. That that's it. The entire thing. Yeah. Thank you. And goodbye. Ah. What the.